Hello everyone, welcome to ProMind's AutoCAD Tips and Tricks. This week we'll be going over how to use the burst command. The burst command is usually used when you want to maintain the attributes of a block after you've exploded it. So if we insert a block here, we're going to use the ProMind library for inserting a mining shaft symbol. And we're just going to rotate it and scale it. Uh, let's make it slightly bigger so that we can see it on the screen move now if we use the burst command it's going to ask us to select the object so we're just going to select the block that we use here which will break it down into the lines and all the separate pieces that form this block when you initially save it so as you can see here we moved one of the pieces and then you have the lines and the, the square that forms this block into what it is. Now, again, the burst command just maintains the attributes that were in that block. So if you go into the properties, you'll see that the attributes didn't change, even though you split this block into its separate components. So that concludes this week's AutoCAD tips and tricks. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for another topic, send them to us through the link at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.